my experience is coming from the, our earthquake, 76, big earthquake. And uh, uh, in that period, before I was working in Germany, uh, working in engineering, lightweight structures, but I came back to Friuli, and uh, my question was, why the rest and the ruins of uh, historical buildings and of uh, traditional buildings, why some pieces remain stained and why the other crashed. We had a big problem because after the earthquake it, would, it was not possible to repair uh, stone walls buildings. It was not possible to build a, a wooden structure, a wooden ceiling and wooden roof. So the norm was not permitting to do this. That's why we lost a lot of material, a lot of churches could have been repaired, but it was not possible because the norm was not existing. From 76, the norm uh, trans uh, changed four times. And I think that we reach it, that we have today a norm, a seismic norm, from the engineering point of view, that we can rebuild and repair historical buildings only by the original materials. So we don't need concrete, we don't need steel, we don't need any other materials. Uh, the norm changed. And we, I have to, to thank also uh, our friend Micha Tomasevich from Ljubljana, which was the first that tried to demonstrate that uh, uh, a stone wall was resisting to earthquake. And this was a, a very important thing. That, that's why the, the norm changed. So, only a small introduction, but uh, it is 40 years of my living. Uh, okay. So this was Edwin seventy six, and my my um, question was: This is the castle of Prampera. I will show you after all the reconstruction of this castle. But I show this only to see on the right side. It was a, a big tower that has been from the uh, uh, 13th century that has been transformed many times because we always say, oh, uh, old building is not resisting, uh, it crashed, so we have to, to uh, use other materials. This structure on the right side crashed just because it has been uh, worked out in the past. And this happens in many... Uh, oh, I, I wanted only to ask if, if it's... Better English or German? I can uh, the same way. English or German? What do you prefer? English. 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 Okay. <laughs> and uh, so on the left side there is a tower, year 1025, that remain intact, just because it was complete closed, very few windows. And it was not an object of transformation in the uh, late centuries. The other part and the central part between the two towers was, of course, transformed because people lived to change 14th, 15th century, 16th century, the big windows, the big tree for us, <coughs> terraces. And so the structure, the real structure, was so... Um, uh, damaged that at the end we had a, a kind of of uh, of uh, uh, emmental cheese. It was not a real building. It was a series of opening, closing doors, opening, closing windows, opening, closing uh, entrances. And so at the end, it was of course logical that this should crash. But other parts remained. So, and uh, I wanted to demonstrate this. I said, no, it's impossible. The history of building 
of man building has 8,000 years, and they knew exactly about earthquake. And you, we in Italy, in the earthquake of Calabria, 783, they find a, a technique of rebuilding anti-seismic dwellings. And they did it. They copied from Germany. They made a kind of Fachwerk with uh, internal uh, wood structure and filling with stones and bricks. So, but of course, we for have forgotten all this, or technical, or it was there were other interests behind this reconstruction. Uh, so I said uh, to me, I have to find an example and demonstrate that this give back the feeling of to the people that their old houses had a value and they could live safe in that houses without destroying them and building a concrete bunker. What most of them did, yes. Because, you know, uh, fearing, it's very easy to provoke uh, fearing in the people and say, oh, no, 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 just take away everything, rebuild new. We, we, we are today in the 20th century. We are not in medieval time. We have new materials. We have new products. We know best that all the old people. So I said, no, I don't believe this. I choose a ruin. This is Kukanya Castle. It is... Uh, uh, Auerberg, Auersberg uh, building, so uh, it's your uh, job. <laughs> and uh, 1025, first building. And uh, this is the situation. It's very special, unique situation in Friuli because we don't have all around dwellings, small houses, factories, roads, parking and all these nice things that normally when when you look out from some historical buildings inside they are historical but if you go to the window what you see this is the problem so this very special situation uh, three castle on on a line middle kukanya 1025 second one because it was impossible to the, 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 the rock, the, the, the morphological part of the, um, of the hill is so small that you cannot make a big uh, castle out that you will have the buildings very low and this is not natural, of course, uh, uh, well to defend it. Yeah? I found this. It was a, a, a completely uh, covered by the castle was abandoned 1420, completely abandoned. And we found this situation, we have to find out, it was like jungle, inside, outside, extreme big uh, 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 trees. And the tower was the element that remained, the same case as, as Prampero, just because it has no opening. So, of course, it is a, a, a building with uh, 1 meter 50 to 2 meters uh, thickness. And so, uh, of course, this remains. It's an anti-seismic building itself. Uh, we, don't, we don't need to, to, to put other things. So, it was only the upper part has been uh, rebuilt. But my idea was that I, I shouldn't do this alone. Because this operation, a restoration of this kind, happens after 600 years. And so uh, I said uh, uh, other people should profit about this operation. So I had the idea to make a school, a school of ar uh, medieval architecture and medieval archaeology. And that, that's why uh, I organized. So, um, it was in a, a summer school, and um, here you, you see all the the, the, the developed tower twenty five. Then the, the first uh, the first 
building with the first palazzo, then it doubles because you can, uh, it makes uh, larger, exactly doubled. The uh, third phase is uh, outside the former, former um, uh, surface of the castle, and then other uh, buildings outside. Um, what we are, uh, we have been uh, uh, digging archaeologically, uh, I think, 20 years, and so uh, we are now going always um, wider, and probably we will arrive near the, 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 the village. So all the hill is the castle. The castle is not what we see. It's not the, the only uh, walls that we can see. The castle is a, 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 a war machine and all the hill is protected. All the hill is military designed. That's what we are finding. So this is, uh, of course, that uh, brings you and uh, to, to think that if we have to protect these uh, historical buildings, you ha we, we have, you must have the power to protect a very big area. From the, from, the, uh, from the beginning to the situation now. The material, uh, all the stones, fortunately, didn't uh, go away because it, it, it takes too long to bring them away. And this is uh, because there is no road. So I will tell you, never build a road near a castle. <laughs> if you want to be sure for your life. <laughs> and um, some of the, of the operation, we tried to, to make them in the summer course. So we made normal rebuilding, well, normal walls, it was during the year, but special, for instance, a, a vault in stone, this from the church of St. James. Um, this has been done during the, the, the summer curse. And we make, we are, we have, we use only uh, chestnut. We have full forest of chestnut, so we use only chestnut. We cut most of them with the X. Covering with stones because uh, all our area, Friulana, on this uh, hill area was covered till 17th century only by stone plates because they had the, everybody had the stone plates behind the, or in the back of the house and the, the production of tiles uh, came later in 18th century they they started to product tiles and so they changed took away the the, the stones and put the, the tiles and this is uh, uh, where we have uh, uh, our school. Uh, also stone working in the school. This is the, the Auersberg uh, lion, a copy of it. And rebuilding small, small exercise, rebuilding uh, vaults, brick walls without scaffolding. No scaffolding below, only some lines to control the form. But we are making vaults free, like in the... And the Cochopesto, Cochopesto experience uh, on the bottom, Cochopesto floor, and uh, Cochopesto plaster. Um, Cochopesto base and uh, fresco. Replacing some fallen stones. Stones missing, reopening the quarry 10 meters from the castle with the same tools as you can see. And replacing. 
archaeology, laboratory of archaeology, our own laboratory has been spended by uh, Freiburg Gesellschaft, gratis. <laughs> it's not so easy to have a, a laboratory of restoration for archaeology. In Friuli there is only Denkmalamt. They have one, but I think that we are very good. <laughs> and we are very lucky, not only good. Hypothesis <laughs> uh, uh, about wood structure on the castle. We see today only the stone walls, but the wood structure was surely, I think, 30% of the old building. We don't, we don't see it anymore, yes, but the castle was really with all the structure all around that were protecting them and they were done, we have found on the, on the tower of Kukanya, we have on the tower only some uh, cantilever coming out, very small, and only some holes. And with this very few element, we can reconstruct a kind of, of, of uh, not Mikado, a kind of, uh, there is a structure that if you take one piece away, it makes like that. So the wood structure is a protection of the tower in peace moment, but if the enemy comes to the tower, it can be completely destroyed. Very simple, but very interesting. It, no, not, uh, I, I made a mistake, it's like Kubrick. Uh, uh, system. So before and after, before and after the church, before and after the courtyard, the public using Rubia Castle, another uh, problem, not destroyed but earthquake, because earthquake has uh, is destroying weak parts. War is destroying everything. So they, there is a bridge, not this, because there is another bridge that has been destroyed very near to the, to the Rubia Castle. They bombed the bridge, but you know the pilot was maybe drunk and he bombed the castle uh, 100 meters away. So uh, a bomb fall in the front the facade fall down. And this is the difference, uh, because only one part has been destroyed. But the nature is working in the same direction. So after about 100 years, uh, <coughs> this is the, the complete plan, but I don't think it's uh, of interest now. It's, uh, well, the, the plan with the, with the ground, the, the, the roof structure, but I want to go to this situation. What has remained? Uh, you see, the, the bomb, the, the, the bomb uh, fall in the front here, and the facet fall. So the, 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 the part behind remained in that period, uh, 1960. 16 re remain intact, but nature destroyed the rest. That's what, what we found. And of course we have to, to, to go inside and nobody wanted to do it. Not even the building firm want to do. Uh, architects must do things that nobody would never do because there is no Say, from safety, we have say, do a say in Italy. I don't know what you have in Slovenia about the, the safety on the building side. So if we apply this, we will never get a draw of a building. It's impossible. You go on your own risk. When you, you because uh, Denk Malam wants to have the paper. <laughs> and uh, if I have to give him a paper, I have to go inside and climb up. We 
as a monkey and with very big risk, yes? Then, when I put the, the drawing and I say, they say, okay, you can do it, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm calling the building firm, yes? And then they start to make scaffolding. But before we have to work like monkeys. Well, reusing the, the, the uh, of course you have to, to show to the client that uh, is here, <laughs> because at the beginning they, they are very skeptic, yes. The client accepted to rebuild this because I brought him in Kukanya Castle. And I said, look, it was like that, and now it's like that. He said, okay, we do it. But before, uh, about 20 years, they were dis discussing, with, they were another group belonging, it was a group of friends. 16 friends bought this, this uh, 109 hectare park with a ruin. But they bought it to, to go hunting, not to rebuild the castle. <laughs> and only the father of, of Natasha was so crazy, really crazy, that he said, OK, I rebuild it. And so we started. We had all the elements, the, the, the arches, where the arches were. And we rebuilt the, the vaults to give a structure of it. But they are real vaults. I say real vaults because uh, in Friuli, uh, maybe you know Gemona, maybe you know Venzone, maybe you know all these things. And uh, uh, from the outside, it seems to be a building as it was. No. It's completely <laughs> fake. Completely. It's completely other bricks and, and, and steel and, and iron and concrete. And then from the outside, it's plastered. And so you think it, this is the historical building as was before the earthquake. Not at all. And they, all the bricks are produced by hand, one by one. And the old man, 75 years old, comes and say, oh, here we have how the walls were. Just build it without scaffolding. Look, they are, they are staying in the air and very nice structures, like a flower, and finished. And uh, well, Nature has done a lot of, of, uh, of damage, but we found the holes, and so we could put the, the chestnut beams, full beams, not lime binder, full beams, 14 meters long. But people say, oh, I take lime binder because it's easy to find them. Of course, if you don't look for them, you will never find them. And look at this. One of the tower is laying only on wooden structure. And some parts that has been destroyed, and we, we couldn't see them on the pictures, we had to reconstruct by the historical photographs, enlarging them and finding out how it was the, the particulars. You see this from the picture and then uh, it's reproduced the, the, the entrance structure and the, the, um, how it was the rest of this, of this terrace. This terrace is made by, by uh, double T, double T, Trega with, uh, with uh, uh, brick walls, exactly how, how it was. Or the, the entrance, the entrance, we had only this picture on the left, only that historical picture, and we reproduced ex exactly 
nobody knows because of course you can say this ball here is not 12 but 12 comma 5 but what does this matter because of that I, I built a concrete staircase in the front because I don't know 100% how it was? No, I don't do it. I let other people do it if they want. Finnish castle. And uh, uh, now I, I think you have seen the, the cantina. I show this, which has not to do with historical buildings. It's a new cantina completely new. Dig it out in the Carso. We dig out a, a hill, a, 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 a stone hill. With the material that came out, we built the walls. And then we started rebuild. You see the, 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 the external walls. External. And then we started to rebuild the, the inside with bricks without scaffolding. Bricks, only bricks. Bricks and mortar. No glue, no glue. It's normal mortar. But uh, I presented this uh, to the conference after a 40 years earthquake, and they said, but how is this ma mortar made? What are the ingredients? It doesn't exist, the ingredients. It depends if it's the sun, if it's wind, if it's raining, if it's hot, if it's cold. This man, who is Slovenian, Boris, <laughs> uh, when, we, when we make the, the, it's not so easy to make this, yes, because everybody asks, how is it possible? I tell you, we had eight people working, eight masoners, well-skilled masoners, not children. And this old man came from Tuscany, 76, 75 years old, his family, 500 years, builders of vaults. He said, okay, I teach you, eight people working. At the end, only one learned, Boris. <laughs> and that Boris we will bring now where Dr. Schicht knows. <laughs> So only brick and mortar, only brick and mortar, only brick and mortar, no concrete. It's nothing new, it would be from the 15th century. I'm not ashamed to say that it's a copy. I make a copy. New building, completely new. But my son, studying architecture in Venice, went there to the professor and said, I want to, to, to make a, a research and bring this. We are building 800 square meters vaults. The professor said, why, why you don't build it in concrete? He was not interested in this because he doesn't know how to do it. And he doesn't know what to say. This is the problem of the university. Another extreme uh, 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 building. Look ahead, it was. Uh, I say they call me when it's the uh, most dangerous situation, they, they call Racanello. <laughs> From the upper. He took a crane to make this picture. Uh, the full brick, full brick, one meter 30 thickness. <coughs> it was very dangerous here, you know? All this part could go out in this direction. We rebuild it as a, as to, to, to stick a, a hole in the, in, the, in the jacket, exactly with the bricks. We put some uh, anchors, iron anchors, we put, and we put the wooden structure connected with anchors, because if we found a whole box 
without the beams. We don't have the structure. This is the problem. If you say, I don't want to add new things that I don't know, then you will see how long this structure will remain like that and how it will cost. To, to preserve a ruin costs three times a new building. And that's why the archaeolo archaeologists, Bundesdenkmalamt, now I think they don't want anymore to dig out archaeology because they know that the cost of protection of a ruin is quite impossible. Outer structures, of course, the, 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 the building has all the holes of these uh, wooden structures. So, finished one. Castle of Prampero, how it was, then the earthquake, fall down, here, fall down, 2008, ruin, 2012, rebuilt. But how rebuilt? Here we are measuring the castle. Uh, tower, this is the north tower, which remained intact because it is a full tower, and uh, the, um, uh, it is also uh, built in the year uh, 1025, same age as the, uh, the Kukaya Tower. And then the, the, the Jamona Tower, the big tower, and in the middle the palace that has been changed, and problem. They, if you change the level of the, of the, of the of the flats, you destroy the structure. Because when you build new, you come up with a, with a stone wall, you make a hole perfect with all the big stones all around. Then you forget this, and this is a real structure. And 200 years later, it's coming another man and say, no, I want to have another level. He makes holes, but to put a beam in existing Building, you know how big the hole has to be, because the beam is longer than the, the room. And so you have to make a big hole, many big holes, and you are destroying all the line of the structure. Mm -hmm. Then you cover it because you, you close, after putting the beam, you close all around and you plaster, mm -hmm. and you don't, nobody knows what is behind. Then comes the earthquake and brings away the plaster, plaster falls down, and you see all these wounds of the body of the building. And then you understand why it happened. Very similar situation to, to, the, to, the, to the Rubia castle. What we found existing on the, here, the tower, till on the top remained just because it was not destroyed out of one side. And here the, the, the project, and, and we, of course we found out all this, those, all this before, the small windows here, you see. On this line it was the small windows and the level was here. And then they changed the level, make big windows, tree for us, of course, beautiful tree for us. But then you, you cannot ask for the building to remain intact. It's impossible. The tower rebuilt. Inside. So, and now about how to work. Building side of a ruin is special. Here on the left side, you see a man who dig it out all the castle, alone, alone. And only by digging like that, he's dividing the stones that are in the same room where they fall down. And so they take the stones, put it in this uh, small, uh, how you say, benna, we say benna, it's a basket, yes? And the crane is taking the stones and putting them here, on the walls. So, 
I say this because on some of our buildings uh, sites, uh, what they do, they take all the material outside, they throw all, everything outside, and then they start rebuilding. So they lose the information because the stones fall not outside, not 30 meters away, but fall mostly vertically. We used all the stones and we rebuilt it. And uh, of course the, the tower you see, the tower has a uh, out of, uh, of the vertical, uh, in uh, 17 meters, it goes out one meter 10. So it's the Torre di Pisa, like this. <laughs> and so in the rebuilding, we had to, to, to correct this, of course. We cannot rebuild the building in that way. But look at the, at the wall. This is a full wall, one meter 20, full wall, only stones of the castle. And this is chestnut, no lime being there. We, we were lucky to find some original pieces and the other we reproduced, we reconstruct, like a puzzle, before and after. So another extreme, I go, uh, I go, I, I should go faster, yes, I go fast, okay. This is an extreme, what happened to this uh, castle of Ra Ravistano, Rabenstein, yes, the village is not so far, so the people took from the big walls, one meter fifty thick, they took the outer nice stones and they built their houses. All the out, outside stones have been picked up. And uh, so we had the structure, and then uh, the, the, um, the earthquake also made uh, the rest, and also, of course, the 400, uh, 500 uh, centuries uh, abandoned. And we found only some rests of a foundation very, very low. And this is uh, the structure how we found it, of course, and uh, you see that here is missing all this part. This part is missing. Here you have 90 meters down to the, to the river. And so this was the facade without the outer stones, and we replaced the stones. We found some stones in the village, but we couldn't, it was not possible to destroy the houses. So we had to take other ones. But on this side, we found here the, some rest of foundation, very, very low. And from this situation, we went up till the top. Only stone and mortar. And some anchors here, you see them. Uh, this is... Uh, I make also new things when we don't uh, have the possibility. This is the, the castle of Buya. Uh, uh, the, the, the municipality didn't have enough money because the, this wall, this wall from here and from that, at the beginning we thought they were closing one to the other. It would be very easy to rebuild this. It was not like that. The wall is going down in this direction to the hill maybe 30, 40 meters and making a loop. And so we said, okay, we have to put something and we make, we, we make this uh, with, with chestnut. It's a provisional uh, structure. And now the last picture, uh, probably, I don't know, you know, this is the Dome of Venzone. Dome of Venzone uh, has been used as a, as a flag uh, to, uh, to say that, of course, they have, uh, they have uh, uh, collected all the stones, put a, a number of them, yes? And uh, after, of course, because at the beginning, after the earthquake, Friulani thought we will never rebuild. It's better to build somewhere else. 
But after some years, because the reconstruction took longer, 76 earthquake, 82, six years later, they began to rebuild. What did they think these six years? They were discussing how to rebuild. Because at first, they say, no, we don't rebuild because it's impossible to build in stone, to live in stone houses. Okay, then we rebuild only concrete and brick houses on the flat outside. But then the time passed and people said, but are we sure that we want to go abandon our village and go in another place? And it was a luck that it takes so long to discuss that they changed completely. But the problem was that before, they didn't think to rebuild, so all the stones were put in the rivers. <laughs> and then they say, okay, now we have to go back and take the stones from the river. The Dome of Venzora is, is an example. Uh, but as you see, it's not a real uh, uh, medieval 13th century uh, building. But this is accepted. I am against this, and there, there, I can tell you there are big problems that nobody wants to tell. This is a, a concrete sole in the middle, and the stones are put on the outside. In this between, there is, uh, there is water, condensed water, because the materials are different. And the condensed water is going inside the church and they are trying now to get it out. Nobody wants to speak about this problem because I don't say how much it costs. But I tell you how much our building costs and Natasha can uh, <laughs> confirm this. Our costs are less than 300 euro per cubic meter. Finished building, chiavi in mano, less than 300. So think about uh, uh, I, 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 I didn't heard about the costs of what we have seen now, but maybe it would be interesting to know it. Thank you. <laughs>